What's up everybody, it's Neo here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how iOS 8 actually functions on iPhone 4S. We're doing this because many sites have claimed or stated that you should not update to iOS 8 if you are running a 4S. Now I'm here to defend my badly battered iPhone 4S because I've had it for a long time and I'm an actual 4S user, unlike I'm sure most of these articles written are not by 4S users, they're just regurgitating material from different sources. So let's actually show you for yourself so you can then make up your own mind and decide to update or not. So this is my device. I mean, I got a huge crack going through it and don't get me started on the back. So definitely been through a lot. It's my baby. It's smaller. This is when smaller screens were the trend. Now apparently you need a bigger screen, but I'm fine with this one. So I updated it to iOS 8 and I also used all the developer builds prior to the official release of it. So let's get started with the actual device. Essentially we are missing some hardware, but this is nothing that we're not used to. We don't have Touch ID. We don't have AirDrop. And we don't have something called Metal and OpenGL ES 3.0 on our device. We are stuck at 2.0 and 3.0 is just an upgrade. And basically this uh, limits the resolution of graphics. So obviously some games or some graphics may not look as cool on our device as it does on the 5S or the iPhone 6, obviously. But that's nothing we're not used to because our device is old. One more thing we don't have is the proper Bluetooth that will support hands-off feature or the hands-off feature which lets you seamlessly continue your text or email composition from different iOS devices. So I'm sure you've heard of this. We can't do this though we can't get call forwarding to our device or different iOS devices. So one of the claims out there is that our device's screen is too small to handle some of the screens on iOS 8 or built for built for the new large screens on the 5S and the bigger screen on the 6, but um, I don't think that's true. The example used most of the time is when you're composing an email. So here I have a, a draft, and as you can see, it's enough room to write an email. People say that because you have the suggestive text on or whatever that you don't have that much room to actually see the email you're writing but this is plenty of room for me I mean I'm sure it's enough for you and if it's not use the new iOS 8 feature for third-party keyboards and find a minimal keyboard that actually gives you a lot more room so you see that I actually shorten the amount of screen this takes and I have a lot of room to write my email I'm not sure why people are complaining about that but I mean if you're a stickler maybe you don't like that. There's another really small feature that is not that I don't get on my 4S that other devices do and it's the um, suggestive apps on my lock screen so maybe you've seen this feature when you're next to like a Ralph's or a Starbucks you'll get the Starbucks app a little icon pop up I actually don't get this and I'm kinda grateful that I don't get this because it's kind of annoying and I don't really want to get those apps on my lock screen so that's one other thing I've noticed so now let's get into the claims that it's that much slower. If you go on the actual guide on GadgetHacks.com, there's actually a table that compares 7.1.2 to iOS 8 on a 4S. And there are averages of times it takes to open certain apps. And honestly, none of them take a second longer, except when you boot your device. But I mean, opening apps, I mean, it's not that much, It doesn't. it's not that slow that I'm aggravated or annoyed with my device. I mean, if anything, the App Store takes the longest, but it's because it's loading all this stuff. And as you should know, your 4S is not com does not have 4G LTE capabilities. But I mean, it works fast enough for me. Let's open some more apps on our music. I got the stupid U2 app, which I should take off soon. Um, let's open a third party app. Let's open my Fantasy League app. I mean, it launches fast enough. I'm not pulling my hair out because it's loading so long. So, I mean, take a look. So, yeah, I'm not too sure why people are complaining. I certainly have not complained because you get a lot of cool features with iOS 8. 
just take a look at the widgets. I mean, I got a calculator right there, my notification screen. Um, also, you saw the third party keyboard, which is really cool. I like using third party keyboards, especially since it gives me more real estate. To be honest, if a friend asked me, Neil, should I upgrade my 4S to iOS 8? I tell them to do it, and I show them all the great features that you get with iOS 8. But essentially, it's up to you guys. So I'm just here to show you how it works and try to debunk any misconceptions out there that you may have read. At least now you can see it firsthand from an actual 4S user, because I believe that most of these articles are just regurgitated from different sources and told ignorantly from people that have no experience with the 4S running iOS 8, like I have this song. So, there you go. Definitely check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you update or not.